Hello friends, we are still not employed by a fang company. So let's not stop lead coding till we get there. Today we are going to do a lead code easy problem, uh, reverse bits. And uh, this has something to do with bit manipulation. So let's understand the problem statement. Uh, basically, we are given a 32 bit unsigned integer and we need to reverse all the bits in it. Uh, let's consider it by an example. Suppose the value we are given n is equal to 5. And if we represent it in binary, the binary representation would be And since the given input is 32 bit, uh, all the other bits would be zero. Now we just need to return a new element uh, reverse. That looks like the exact reversal of this binary value. So this bit, the so the rightmost bit on the uh, original input would be the leftmost bit on our new uh, variable. So the value should look like 1, 0, 1 and all the remaining zeros uh, because it, this one is also 32 bit. So basically the rightmost zero would be at leftmost position in our new variable and we need to return this. The problem statement is really easy to understand and let's see that what could be the approaches we can take to solve this. In order to solve this problem, we are going to use bit manipulation and specifically we are going to use uh, two bit manipulation operators. Uh, first one is AND operator and second one is OR operator. And let me show you by truth table what each uh, of these rep, uh, operations represent and these are the symbols to represent them. So the possible value for A and B we could have is So for a and b, if all, both the values are 1, then only we consider a and b as 1. Otherwise, if there exists a single 0, we will uh, keep their value as 0. So this would be the table for a and b. And in a or b, if there exists a single 1, we would consider the value for a or b to be 1. So if both are 0, then only we would have a or b as 0. Otherwise, the value would always be 1. Now let me show you that how can using these two operators we can uh, calculate our solution. We are only given one thing over here, uh, the input parameter n. And suppose our n is 5, so the values would be like this. The new variable that we are trying to determine reverse is actually unknown to us and that will have all the values that are in reverse order for the given n. And we know one thing that all the values in given n is actually 32 bits, not more than that. So the first intuition is that if we run a loop uh, 32 times and every single time we take whatever element is present in n and if we put it in our reverse uh, variable, so whatever element we have present in our n we put it in the reverse variable and then we start shifting the reverse variable one step to the left side so at the end of the loop our reverse variable would be exact reverse of whatever value that is present in the given n so let's determine that what would be our algorithm initial value for our reverse parameter would be zero so the entire value would be and when i say zero I mean that all the 32 bits would be zero for the reverse element. Now at the beginning of and we would run a loop uh, from i equals to zero to i equals to 32. And at the beginning of our loop, we would have a condition that every time we are going to left shift the value of reverse parameter uh, to one bit. So at the end, we would have rotated any value that is present over here. We would have rotated it to 32 times and it would end up on the leftmost position. But after the rotation of the value, so first of all, so inside the loop, first of all, we will rotate one bit to the left and we would represent it with this uh, symbol. 
next what we are going to do is somehow we will have to get whatever value of n is present we need to copy that value for that particular element and put it somehow put it on the subsequent position at our uh, reverse order so how can we do it and we know based on our uh, and and or operators so at any given moment the possible value for n would be either 0 or 1 and we want to copy whatever value of n exists in our reverse uh, parameter a reverse variable so if we do an n and one operation then this would specify and this would provide us with whatever value of n there exists so suppose if the value of n exists as 0 and if we do an AND operation with 0 and 1 the result we would get is 0. If the, uh, if the value of n exists as 1 and if we do an operation 1 AND 1 the value we would get is 1. So this is how we can get the exact value of 1 that is present um, exact value of n that is present. And once we calculate this value that n and one we need to put this value in our reverse variable but the thing is in our reverse variable all the values are initially set it up to zero so all the values are zero and the the potential value of n and one operation could be either zero or it could be one and whatever we get over here we need to transfer it to our reverse variable and the way we can do it is if we simply do whatever element is present at our reverse variable at our reverse variable and if we do an or operation with uh, whatever the answer we get from n and 1 we would be able to put uh, the exact value that was present at n at given at any given moment so the operation that we are going to do is current value of reverse we have with and we would be oring that with n and 1 and suppose initially so if the value of n is equal to 0 the answer after this operation would become 0 and we know that the value of reverse is initially set to 0 so we would be doing 0 or 0 and the answer we would get is 0 and we would shift it to our reverse and at every single iteration we are going to do a left shift on the reverse parameter so whatever value we, st we set up at the first at the end of the 32 iterations it would end up over here and so we are taking care of the value of reverse parameter by shifting them one parameter left but we also need to shift the values of given n one parameter one step one bit to the right side uh, because we need to calculate every single value of n so suppose the value of n is like 0 1 and then bunch of zeros and then uh, 1 and this comes out to be the whole 32 32 bits we need to calculate every single value of n that is present and we need to put it in the reverse order so at the beginning of our loop we will calculate this value we would put it in our reverse uh, loop uh, and once that is done uh, this value would be stored over here initially in our reverse variable but we know that we are doing a left shift operation on our reverse variable so eventually the value will keep on transporting on the left side and it would end up at the first position which is what we want but the thing is on the n way on the given input we need to do a right shift operation so we keep on eliminating the values that we have already calculated and we are uh, eventually uh, when we come to the end of the 32nd bit we would come to this value so 31st bit would become this value and this value would be entered at the second position a reverse variable so I hope this makes things uh, clear. I know it's a little bit uh, tricky to understand, but once you will do an example by yourself uh, with this uh, expression that reverse, the value of reverse is actually the reverse we currently have or n and one. And after this, we would be able to copy whatever value of n we have 
to our reverse uh, for that particular bit and then it's just a matter of uh, shifting the values of reverse on the left side and shifting the value of n on the right side and at the end of the loop we can simply return the value of reverse variable and this would be our answer so now let's calculate the time complexity for this approach basically the time complexity would be big o of 1 because the only work we need to do is we need to run a for loop uh, for 32 times and that can be done in constant time and even for the space complexity we, we we can complete the complete the entire iteration in just constant time because we are not using any additional data we are just using a couple of parameters to store some values and uh, this would be a very fast solution and it's really simple to understand but the thing is we need to come up with uh, little bit of logic and we need to have a little bit of understanding of uh, the bit manipulation operators and now let's move on to code so first of all we will create a variable reverse and initialize it to zero now we will run a for loop Inside the for loop, we will first of all do a left shift on reverse. Then we will apply our logic to calculate the value of n to reverse. So we will do reverse or with n and 1. And now we just do a right shift one bit for the variable n. And at the end of and after the loop we simply return the value of reverse. Let's try to run this code. Yeah, it looks like our solution is working. Let's try to submit it. And yeah, our submission works uh, actually 100% faster, faster than all the other submissions, but uh, this is not true. This is because the uh, solution runs in the constant time and uh, hope you like the video. Let me know what kind of videos you want me to do next. And uh, if you have any suggestions regarding my videos, feel free to let me know so I can improve upon them. Our aim is to clear the FANG and uh, we are not going to stop till we clear FANG interviews. Thank you. Bye.